Hi there, this is Jen, and thanks so much for stopping by today. Today I am sharing two cards using the Fabulous Fall box, and this is a Hedgehog Hollow subscription box for the month of August, and there are fall-themed items. So there is a pack of ephemera that has um, words and some florals and some different fall-themed items. And then you get two stamp sets. One is a four by six, I believe, and it's got a word block and then a uh, stamp that says welcome fall. And then there is a six by eight stamp set with a bunch of fall themed items. And then there are two layering stencil set. This one I believe is an apple or a cherry branch. One of those, it could be either, I guess. Um, and then there is the, another a layering stencil set that has three layers and it's got leaves and acorns. And so, um, Oh, and there are also some um, A2 size envelopes in the pack as well. I think that's A2 size. It fits the four and a quarter by five and a half. I get so confused on the sizes sometimes. <laughs> but um, I'm gonna go ahead and take a piece of Bristol Smooth cardstock, and I am using this coffee cup stamp, and I am using some Birds of Fine Black ink because I will be using some Catherine Pooler inks to watercolor with. So I went ahead and I stamped up the first um, image. And then for the other two cups that I stamp, I didn't want that hello fall in the center of that cup. And so I'm just masking that off with a little bit of um, sticky notes. Um, and uh, luckily I remembered to remove the sticky note before stamping. I have done that lots of times. <laughs> and so here are the images. I'm gonna go ahead and set that aside to dry. A lot of times if I don't let that pigment dry enough, I put my hand in it when I'm coloring and then it smudges all over. So I set that aside to dry and I'm going to grab the stencil and I'm using sage green and green tea for the leaves. So I'm going to take the sage green color first and just use my blending brush through the stencil. And then I will go ahead and use the green tea um, to kind of layer those two colors on top of each other and I think it gives it a really uh, pretty effect. And if you use these stencils how they're intended and just layer them on top of each other, I'm moving them around because I'm just doing it on a little strip, but uh, if you were using them as intended it would have the pattern all laid out for you and have to worry about where you're placing them. Um, but for this, I went ahead and I used the acorns as well. So that's going to be on two stencils. So I did the bottom portion of the acorn using, I believe, sandcastle. And then for the top portion, um, it's really easy just to set that second stencil on top um, for the top of the acorn. And I'm using icing on the cake, I believe, for that color. And then I'm going to take my piece of uh, stenciled paper and... <laughs> um, trim that down so that it fits on the card. Um, and then to do the watercoloring, I don't show a whole bunch of it because these are really small images. I'm just uh, basically taking the ink pads and swatching them onto my surface and then taking a paintbrush, dipping that in water, and then coloring the images up. And I wanted to mention while I'm coloring up these fall cards, um, that Hedgehog Hollow Days, which is an event that occurs four times a year, is coming up here at the end of August, so the last Saturday and Sunday of August. If you're not familiar with Hedgehog Hollow Days, I will go ahead and leave a link below for you to check it out. Um, but basically what it is is a virtual event. So the teachers pre-record their portions, but um, Alexandra, who is the owner of Maker Forte and uh, Hedgehog Hollow is she will be live um, and you can interact with the other participants. It's always a super fun time and so I really look forward to it and I've been lucky enough to be a teacher for um, the last several events and I am going to be a teacher again for this event at the end of August. Um, this month I'm doing something a little bit different uh, mainly because I don't normally make uh, Thanksgiving cards or fall cards to send out and so um, for my class this month I will be sharing some different ways that you can use your stamping products for home decoration and so um, the theme that I am doing is going to be a fall theme and so I have some really fun projects lined up 
uh, that you can use for home decoration or for gift giving. Um, and these can also translate into um, other stamps and products that you have in your staffs for other holidays. And so um, I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and again, I will leave some links below if you are interested in checking that out. Um, to finish off this card, I went ahead and I adhered um, all of my elements and then I took a little bit of that extra ink and added some ink splatters. And this tinsel is super awesome because you can create entire backgrounds uh, using the layers and so I will be making more projects with these later on in the month. Uh, the second card here is super quick and easy. I grabbed a stencil and this is a slimline stencil called Fading Cubes, and this is by Maker Forte. And I have taken a piece of masking tape and just masked off that other side because knowing me, I probably would have gotten ink all over the other side if I hadn't have protected it. And the inks I'm gonna use, again, are Catherine Poolers, and the colors I'm using are Daydream. So I'm gonna start out with the Daydream ink and blend that through the stencil. And then I'm gonna grab the Aquatini and basically just do a little bit from dark to light and then I will use the seafoam ink and I like this stencil because it uh, kind of tapers down at the end where it's kind of thicker on top and then it looks like kind of falling um, parts and that goes along great with the stamp that I'm using for this card um, so the stamp I'm using says let the leaves fall and then I'm going to use the smaller open leaf and I've gone ahead and I have stamped these up in some clear embossing ink and then covered that with some gold embossing powder and so next I went ahead and I cut out the um, leaf portion with a circle die from my stash and then I also added a few extra circles just to stack underneath that to give it a little bit of thickness. Um, and I did add twine to this card as well and added some foam to the back. And then I'm just taking my adhesive and adhering these leaves um, to finish it off. I added a few sequins and a super quick and easy card. And that will do it for my cards today. You can also check out the um, tutorial on the Hedgehog Hollow blog and uh, I hope you like. If you did like this video or find it informative, please go ahead and give a thumbs up. As always, I thank you so much for taking some time out of your day to spend with me and I hope to see you soon.